I've got one today that I'm not actually sure what I'm going to be actually expecting. So I'm going to be going down to Bellhaven Bay, which is not too far away from Dunbar. Um, I'm going to be shooting something called the Bridge to Nowhere. And it's a bridge that actually goes across a small stream that when the tide actually comes in, it looks like the bridge is actually just going to nowhere. So the thing that I don't actually know is whether I actually need a long lens or I can use my usual wide angle lens. So I've brought the 24 to 70 mil along with me as well. Um, the reason why I've done that is because Bass Rock, there's a massive island is actually out to sea. And if, if I zoomed in, I could get that compression effect and actually get the, the island in the background as well. So got got the 24 to 70 mil as well as my usual 16 to 35 mil along with me. And I've also brought along a pair, a pair of wellies. Um, probably anticipate that I'm going to end up getting a bit wet trying to get set up for, for the tide coming in. Um, the tide's coming in at quarter past four today. It's quarter past two now, so I've got a bit of time to actually just get down there, get set up and just scope it out. Um, I've seen shots of it before. It's pretty impressive, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Yeah, so I've arrived at the location now. It appears to be a bit of a holiday beach resort type of thing. So just waiting for the tide to come in. So you can see over here, um, there's the bridge and the tide's actually just come in. So it's actually not accessible. So what I'm gonna do is go and get the wellies out and go and get set up. And there's actually a walkway that actually goes out to the, the actual bridge as well. So I'll be able to get the tripod actually set up on, on that concrete bit of slab. Um, it's pretty bright and hazy, so I reckon this is probably gonna end up being a black and white shot, but we'll see, we'll see how I take that one. So I've decided to prioritize taking the, the actual photo over me actually filming me taking a photo, just for the pure fact that I'm actually having to stand out in the middle of the sea while the tides come in. So I'd rather look after the actual camera equipment than actually film me taking the photo itself. Um, so ended up, using the 16 to 35 mil lens so it ended up shooting about 30 mil focal length um, took the shot at f9 but I, I ended up using a liebig stopper indy filter so it's a 10 stop filter it's just pretty bright today so as a result i end up having to get only around about a 45 second exposure but it's pretty windy so the the, the clouds moving around are actually pretty pretty dramatic so i'm pretty happy with the end result with that um, also used the polarizer as well to try and cut the glare. It's pretty glary today, so uh, it, un unfortunately I'm, I'm still having to deal with that. It's, it's not working as well as what I thought it would have worked. Um, so it's one of the more challenging shots I've, I've taken, I'll be honest, having to actually stand out in the middle of the water. So I've, I've got some short clips of that as, as I've taken the shot, so you'll be able to see exactly how deep I actually had to walk out into the actual sea itself. Being honest, that was pretty eventful. I'm not sure I've ever done anything like that before. So it was the tide was just literally coming in that fast. I just had to move and get out of there. So I'm pretty much soaked. The tripod legs are just filled with water, so I had to empty that out. Um, I think the shot will turn out alright. I'm probably going for black and white because when I look at the actual previews that I've taken on the camera, that they're, they're, they're pretty pretty hazy. So. It's, it's usually a good idea to go for black and white in that type of situation because you end up getting a bit more of a dramatic effect with that. <laughs> 